Hello everyone. This is Anish Sadhu. Welcome to Physical Education World YouTube channel. Today's class is about circuit training. Circuit training. So circuit training is uh, discovered by Morgan and Adamson in the year of 1958. It is an effect, very effective training to develop uh, strength, endurance, strength, endurance. In circuit training, we, we have to we, we can develop strength, endurance, and strength, endurance, physical fitness components. In circuit training, we arrange the exercise in, the, in different stations. Uh, uh, the station should be 5 to 15. Exercise will arrange at uh, different stations in a circuit. That's why it's called uh, circuit training. The exercise in stations should be simple to complex. First, first of all, uh, we have to check uh, their 100% levels of uh, exercise uh, training intensity, and we have to give the training intensity load. Exercise uh, are uh, like uh, sit-ups, uh, squats, push-ups, pull-ups, lunges, etc. This circuit training is uh, three, three types. Uh, they, they are uh, circuit training according to continuous method, circuit training according to interval method, circuit training according to repetition method. Let's see uh, circuit training according to continuous method. It is used to develop strength endurance. Uh, circuit training according to continuous method is used for, uh, to develop strength endurance. In this case, uh, we, we, are, we arrange uh, stations uh, more than 10. Uh, the exercise should be more than 10. That's why, uh, that's why we develop uh, strength endurance. There is no time gap between this exercise to exercise or station to station. There is no recovery recovery or uh, rest period. Between the rounds, we, we have to give three to five minutes uh, rest to the athlete. The training intensity should be below 60%. The training intensity we have to give uh, below 60%. And second one is uh, circuit training according to interval method. In this, in this case, we, we have to uh, give uh, stations uh, five, to 5, 5 to 10 stations or 5 to 10 exercises. It is used to develop maximum or explosive strength, the maximum strength or explosive strength. And uh, uh, the rest period between the exercise, uh, exercise and exercise or stations, uh, stations to sh uh, station is uh, 30 seconds. The, the time gap between the rounds is 3 to 5 minutes. The intensity should be 60% to 90%. We have to give 60 to 90% intensity in this uh, uh, continuous training according to interval method. First of all, we have to check the his uh, their 100% levels and we have to give the training intensity or load. This is thought we can develop um, maximum strength to the athlete. In this case, we, we, we are in the stations uh, more uh, below five, 5. Our access should be. The, in this case, we, uh, the training intensity or load sh should be 90% to 100%. That's why it, uh, the stations are low. The rest periods between the rounds is five to, three to five, 3 to 5 minutes. We have to conduct uh, trials uh, before the before the start of the circuit training. Let's see here, uh, a gen this is a circuit training for general people or uh, a ordinary person. Uh, we, I, here we are, I, I have arranged uh, eight stations. In first station, I have arranged uh, push-ups, second station, good morning exercise, third station, pull-up exercise, fourth station, dips, fifth, fifth station, um, squats, sixth station, uh, leg, leg press, seventh station, sit-ups, eighth, eighth station, leg curl. In this, in this type, we, we, are, we are arranged circuit uh, like this. This is the circuit training for uh, those who, who are prepared to score a sport or a game uh, or uh, any combatives, etc. The, those, those type of training is called uh, specific circuit training. Uh, I have arranged here, uh, I have arranged uh, for football players uh, how this uh, circuit training will be will given. Uh, in first session, I have given, I have arranged uh, kick, second session uh, chest, chest trap, third session dribbling, fourth session heading, fifth session pass, sixth session goalkeeping, seventh session juggling, eighth session half valley. 
like let's see uh, how the training intensity will be calculated here a boy chinni a boy called chinni is age is 20 and he he did his maximum push ups of 50 that is 100% if he set uh, training intensity of 60% for him then the then how to calculate the repetitions uh, in those uh, the percentage of 60 repetition is equal to maximum push ups by 100 into training intensity maximum push ups he did uh, 50 and uh, so the um, 50 by 100 into 60% that is equal to he, uh, he have to do at 60% 30 push ups uh, he have to do 30 push ups at uh, uh, training intensity 60% like that i have prepared for uh, uh, dips and strats in this way we are, we are arranged we have to arrange percentage uh, training schedule this is about circuit training according to circuit training uh, the circuit training is used to develop strength endurance and strength endurance physical components okay thank you